<clears throat> oh, okay. Let's see how this thing goes. I didn't practice it that much. I'll probably screw it up. But uh, this I mean, should really be waiting. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. So like, I was on time. It was just the humor that it was lacking. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I think Chris likes this song. So we'll see. It should really be at the end of the episode. You, but it's you, okay. He better like it. He's going to slap you. It's true. <laughs> All right. <sighs> That's the song. Yeah. We want to stay just a little bit longer. We want to ramble just a little bit longer. Oh, wow. And if Jack don't mind, and if Matt and Chris don't mind, I do. And if we take a little time and we leave it all behind to ramble, cast a I like that song too. That I love that favorite. song That's, actually. That might be your best was, one ever. Maybe the I'll tell you that the, the the loadout slash stay is probably one of my all time uh, favorite consecutive songs on a album. I would say, but it's just such a good song. He's actually touring with James Taylor this summer. Jackson Brown. I'd be afraid to go see that. Why? Oh, because they're old as fuck. Because I would go to sleep. You afraid one would die? Because oh. you would go to sleep. Because I mean, like, I I both love James Taylor and Jackson Brown, but like yeah. you're saying, because like, you know most of their songs are fairly mellow, and so it's just kind of like. But he still puts on a hell of a show, man. Like I, he plays every. No, I've seen I, Jackson. I, yeah. I, I well, I haven't been able to go to it because he and uh, J- James Taylor does a show at Tanglewood, which is out in like deep, deep western mass in the middle of the woods. Um, it's a great venue. It's actually where I saw Beach Boys for my first ever concert. Um, but he plays a concert there every 4th of July with the Boston Pops, which is actually really, really cool. Um, but it always late comes on uh, the 4th of July. So it's like I'm, um, I'm on the Cape, you know, on vacation every that time every year. So unfortunately, I don't get to go see it. Um, but outside of the 4th of July, um, Jackson Brown's touring with James Taylor this year, which is kind of cool. Hmm. Nice. Anyways, it's I been got, like a I'd couple of weeks since I've seen you guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we were wondering cool. how you were doing. I'm good. That's true. That's right. You weren't here the week before last. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. We, we then we took whole... last week off. Then yeah. we took last week off. So it's been like three weeks. So yeah, it work's uh, been busy. It's... it's been crazy. But um, you're here good. today. I am. Did you know that the emoji for the waving hand and the slapping hand are the same? Oh, so yeah, you go waving. Ahead. Just, you just so go ahead maybe Will, maybe Will Smith should have um, waved. <laughs> <laughs> well, Will Johnson is actually in the chat. Um, oh, hey, Will Johnson, how are you? He is. Thanks for wow, joining. Will Johnson. So. First time, long time. What did Five Fingers say to the face? Slap. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so let's just get that off off our chest real quick fucking what's up will smith well i wasn't watching i don't watch the oscars i watched no. it live it was awkward I, as fuck and i was about <laughs> ready I, I was about ready to go to sleep and i see a tweet from which didn't make any sense from chris whoa and I put, <laughs> it was a true jack fashion. It, exactly it was like a- oh, wait i get i get crap for my tweets and here's whoa whoa what so I put Will Nelly, and just for I also I see this Will Smith, Will Smith, Will Smith. I go, okay, what did Will Smith do? And I go, and then you guys can take from there. And I go, yeah. Oh it was, wow, it was real awkward, man. Like I was yeah. watching that live, and thankfully my daughter had gone to bed already, but she was watching it with me. Um, I'm glad that she missed that. She woke up the next day. She's like, can I watch the the rest of the Oscars? I'm like, no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely can't do that. Um, but yeah, it was it was awkward. So I mean, I don't think anyone needs to have a recap. I think everyone is probably uh, you know bored of the story Googled already. Um, but <laughs> heard, uh, heard and read everybody else's opinions on it. Of course, of course. So. Um, I mean, I, I mean, I, I have no problem sharing my opinion, as you all know. But I, I'll tell you that uh, 
like dude like keep your shit to yourselves like you know that 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 did not need to make it on tv that did not need to make it in front of the entire academy it did not need to make it in front of the entire world on a tv screen like especially when you when you laugh at the joke yeah 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 well i mean here's the deal like i mean i get it like it's hard to tell how that all transpired right because he was telling jokes that were funny and then he cracked a joke about about jada and yeah. I, can, I can understand perhaps will didn't really quite it didn't like settle with him yet he didn't like get the joke until a couple seconds later and he got pissed yeah uh, so i understand the whole laughing first and like reacting second but regardless like there's something wrong there right <laughs> like i think this is a clear example that but number one Open relationships, not healthy. <laughs> uh, number two, uh, nor is Scientology. And everyone can confirm or deny whether or not he was a Scientologist, but it's been pretty clear. Uh, there's something wrong there. Yeah. I, I've thought that for over 20 years because I, yeah. I remember just distinctly... Is he a Scientologist too? Yeah. Uh, it's like it's, it's, Jada, it's rumored. Is. Jada oh. is. and Because uh, I remember there was a uh, press junk junk it or whatever for Ali. You know, that was what, twenty years exactly, I think, ago. And which I remember a, which was a boring movie. I like it was, Ali. I, I mean, was boring as fuck. Uh, I, I said I, my 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 opinion was how can a man who was so exciting and so oh I guess so you, entertaining yeah. be they made it just so boring. I'm like, but anyway, go ahead. Yeah, like and I kind of I, I always think they I, they've always had an unhealthy relationship. <laughs> You know, and I, you know, because I, I remembered Jada sitting in because she did have a bit role in the movie. But I remember like, you know, like they do, like we have like the poster behind you. And it's like you two sitting there and the interviewers are right in front of you. And I, I remembered that was the moment that I went, wow, like Jada's kind of mean uh, because it was one of those where like Will was talking and she constantly belittled Will like the entire time they were interviewing him. Yeah. And I was like, wow, like this is kind of weird for your wife to say this. She had a froze. Uh, but like, I was like, I just thought it was odd. I mean, then I was what, 21 years old. I was like, this is kind of odd for a wife to kind of be like knocking your husband and his not really knocking his movie, but she was knocking him like, Oh, you weren't that good at acting. You know, I outshine. It was like, it was kind of like playful, but it was also kind of mean spirited. Yeah. And, uh, and that's kind of like what a lot of people have said is like, you see him laughing and then Jada over there looking all pissed. And then you, and then it cuts away. So you wonder like what happened in that five seconds between the cutaway and him walking up. Well, well he well, sent it to you. It's execute order 66. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Execute yeah. order slapty slap. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, I, I think what happens is, as you can see, Chris Rock sees something because he goes, it was as nice as I've been or something like that. He said, something, you could tell that she was upset about something because he, yeah. Chris Rock said something. Yeah, that, so. that was a re- hit that. Well, it was a nice one. That was a reaction to the look on Jada's face, I, th- I, yeah. I believe. Yeah, um, but then it, it it really escalated pretty quickly. He went from fucking zero to slap in the face real quick. Yeah. Dude, I mean, I, I mean, they've been friends for over what twenty five years or twenty at least twenty, and he probably thought like, oh, you know, no big deal. You know, we we're we're close, and then just something. I don't know. I can't. Really so my my qu- I, I really want to know this, and and I I kind of feel like it's interesting because apparently they've known each other for a while. I don't think, I don't think they're friends. Like, I think there's been some bad blood there, but like mm. they know each other. Enough, oh, yeah, yeah. Right. So I almost wonder that, like, did Chris Rock, he, first of all, he has to know, he has to know that Jada Pinkett Smith has alopecia. He's, right? He said he did. He said he didn't. Well, but here's the thing that's, I, I think that's bullshit. Right. Like, because uh, I think I everybody too. in the I didn't know, but I, didn't like, know. I knew. I, I mean, but I mean, I'm I, also not in Hollywood. Right. right, like I'm, but, like, but you're also not friends with the Smiths, or you don't associate with the Smiths, right? So it's like he not I associate maybe. with the Joneses. But that gets me because. <laughs> but here's here's the thing. I I think that he was out there riffing, right? Because that wasn't a scripted joke. That was out him just going out there and like. I, I think riffing. he was riffing. Yeah, and like, and I think he looked at her, saw the short cut, and I honestly don't think I I, I do think he knows about it. I don't think he intended to be making a joke of her what goes of her, of her of her condition. I honestly think that he probably got out there and told the joke from like a visual reaction to see right. her in the front row with really short hair. Mm-hmm. Like that's that's my opinion of it. 
no, um, I... wh- whether that's right or wrong i don't know but i don't know if you guys have listened to or not but if you haven't you should check it out but uh of all fucking people Jim Carrey has probably yeah, the sanest fucking like reaction to this whole thing and how he, really he was calling he out Hollywood. Yeah. Yes. Um, because everyone I was gonna, I was gonna bring this back around for Jack's favorite topic. <laughs> but it was a, but it was Jim, a great it was a great response, but then people are pointing out that when Jim Carrey won an award, I figured what award shit was Alicia Silver Alicia Silverstone, Silverstone yeah. was like twenty one at the time or twenty at the time. And he goes up there and just kisses her and she's kinda like trying to push away. So he's, they're like going, okay, Jim, what about you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's fair. So, I that's mean, fair, fair, I mean, fair criticism. I, I like, think, I think there's something though that, that, that we all kind of do where we condense time into one thing and it's just like, okay, Jim Carrey as he is now is more smarter and mature than he was then. And that, fair. that we're not, ex- oh. we're not allowing for people to say like, oh, I've grown as a person and I realize that my habits back then were completely inappropriate. But, but that's, yeah. but that's, and, but that's, not, and, but that's not the way the world works anymore. Okay, but and to come back to Chris, <laughs> Chris to Chris Rock, and and just for a moment, the 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 comedian aspect as someone who has put his foot in his mouth way too many times and and almost gotten my ass kicked multiple times for <laughs> saying the wrong thing at the wrong time. And I think we've all had a couple of those moments where we're like, ooh, oh, take that on that. shit, yeah. I didn't put that math together until right oh, now. I do that daily. And <laughs> but but on a public stage, though. So um, and, and well, but- I think I think that perhaps, as as Chris was pointing out, like maybe the math didn't go quite through Chris yeah, Rock's head when he's like saying something because he's seeing something but he's not thinking boom oh she has because a he's because he's, he, cause he's extremely quick witted yeah. but Chris, if Chris Will Rock. Smith had had said you know what I don't have to like go up and make a show of it they could have easily just torched him on social media afterwards and just been like he's so insensitive he didn't even think about my wife what I said he, Will Smith should have done is so. maybe held Jada's hand or gave her a hug mm. camera shows that and now who looks like the jerk? Well, I mean, I mean, well, it's clear to me. It's clear to me, and apparently to many others, that there's there's there there is a an abusive like history there. And I don't think it's one way. I think it's a reciprocal abusive relationship because he even said it in his in his then like rambling of a speech when he got his award, like how art imitates life. Like those actions are those of people who are abusing each other. Like that that that's not healthy i'm not a fucking psychologist by any stretch of the imagination but to see somebody react in that way like there's there's some there's some real tough anger well, especially at the, especially at the academy awards when you were or pretty much a shoe in to get the award and yeah. then and then you have hollywood give him because I, I did like what jim carrey said on this one he goes and then hollywood gives him a standing ovation uh, sure, yeah. i'm like going Jerry would like to know what jim carrey actually said oh jim he said, carrey. He said a lot he did. He said a lot. He's on one of the morning shows. I forgot which one it was. It was with um, uh, Ga- Ga- CBS because Gail, uh, what's her name? She's friends with Oprah. Mm-hmm. Let me pull up some maybe the uh, the transcript here. I'll see if I can. I don't, it begins I don't with him saying, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> All right. But yeah, I, mean, I, I don't think Jim yeah. said this, but you know, it's, it's, it's one of the most valid points. We're, talk, also, we're talking like, you know, Jim. Yeah, like you know, Jim. Jim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim. Last time we yeah. talked to him, he had him on the podcast. He was uh, pretty. Well, if we had a good, produ- it's, it's, if we had a good producer, he'd be on. I mean, it was, it was a taste. Enough. It was a tasteless joke, and you know, if he would have just yelled something from the crowd or or what Jack said, like just give her a hug, no one would have remembered any of it the next day. You know, and that's why, like, I I disagreed with both. I felt sorry for both of them because, like, one, it was a tasteless bad joke, but you get over that, and then the fact that Will did that, it's like now. That's what he'll be remembered for. I mean, yeah. all the good stuff he's done. That'll be mm-hmm. in the top three things from now on in his well, life. People will mention. It, it will never go away. Yeah, never. No, it's there forever. forever. And the worst it's, it's, part, but you know, the person I feel worse about the most, the, the most bad. I feel bad. Worst. Bad for. Um, is fucking Questlove, dude. Like, oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Nord, yeah. Like, fuck, Questlove won a goddamn Oscar, and everybody forgot about it because mm-hmm. she's still in shock. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, no one's no one's talking about it. <laughs> but like, Jesus, dude. Like, it's just brutal. So like, here's here's a quote from Jim Carrey. Uh, he says, "I was sickened uh, regarding the situation. I was sickened by the standing ovation. I felt like Hollywood is just spineless in mass." 
it really felt like, oh, this is clear, a clear indication that we're not in the cool club anymore. And then he goes on to say later on, um, you know, he doesn't have anything against Will Smith, but he holds him responsible for seizing the Oscar night, blah, blah, blah. It casts a pall over everybody's shining moment last night. And that was actually a good point. Like, like what Will did, he really he about him. Took, he took all the wind out of everyone's yeah. sails that night from That's all the accomplishments the put that, together. That people want to talk about. And there it are some fucking all accomplishments, the wind out dude. Of, like the, the Ukraine war. It took Bro, all a Tuscan Raider out. won a goddamn Oscar for crying right? out loud. <laughs> like that's awesome. Like, and I haven't seen Coda yet, but I've, I've heard, obviously it's won an award. It's, supposed to be, it's amazing. Like, uh, and everyone I've talked to who has seen the movie Coda, like they say it's incredible. So I've never even heard of it. That's the worst part about it is that we have not talked about anything to do with the Oscars. And this is a clear example of this, of the effect that this has. We haven't talked about the Oscars at all. We've been just talking about Will Smith. Um, but well, there's a ton of performances that were just incredible. I will say this. Is being left in the dust. No, that's it. It's, you know, that the audience gave uh, Will Smith a standing ovation, but they also laughed at the joke. So right. who were who were they applauding? And I, as a bald person... I think, and I always make jokes about it, but I, I, it's, it is a touchy, when you lose your hair, when I first was, my hair was going, I was like, I had a lot going on back then. So I was, I was depressed about a lot of things, but the hair going out sucked. It yeah. just sucked. And then people make jokes. I mean, and to be fair, I made jokes all the way. Go- <laughs> I made the same jokes, sure. you know, but then you, then it hits you. Then you go, well, that Talk. sucks. And so, but now it doesn't bother me when someone says it, but. When I was younger, yeah, I was like, like shit, I got some apologies to do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is one but thing we, I will never make fun of you about. Oh, thank you. I don't care anymore. But uh, but see, I've heard I mean, guys, of his black think, ex- Especially for, I, I think, not, not be sex, I don't want to sound sexist here, but for a woman, I think it's even worse. True. I mean, she's still, she, she's still attractive. I mean, she's, I mean, I, I wish I looked that good bald. Dude, no doubt. Like, I, my, I mean, granted, it was for a, a temporary period of time, like, but my wife lost her hair. And it was, and I, it was fucking awful. Like it was, yeah. it was, it was actually like one of the worst, one of the worst parts about it. Cause I mean, I, I had to shave, I shaved her head for her yeah. and that was like fucking painful. Yeah. And to see that, that look upon, uh, you know, a woman's face, I totally, totally, totally empathize with it. Right. Like yeah. I, I can see how that's an, like, you know, how that's a, you know, like a, a big deal, but I, I'm going back to the point where I, I can't imagine Chris Rock. Like if he did that intentionally to make fun of her in a joke in which knowingly he she has a fucking hair condition like a like a like a, a alopecia or the you know Al- it's it's alopecia yeah like if if he intentionally made that joke that's one thing right but like the short hairstyle that's a fucking hairstyle she, she wasn't like she actually had has or however it was styled it was like a short hair like I mean that's it's not an uncommon cut right. And, and I can see, like, I, I, I can only imagine that like, he's, he's just riffing and he sees her out of the corner of her eye and he immediately associates a joke with it. I, I, I feel like that's more of a real a realistic situation. Like, if he went out there and said, hey, I'm going to make this joke about her because she's got alopecia, that's fucked up. Then he deserves to get punched in the face, maybe not on stage in front of a live studio, live, no. live audience, but behind back scenes, back behind the stage. Yeah. Yeah. Kick that's his where, ass. That's where, that's where Will should have done, taken. That's that. Exactly. But, but I, I was going to say it because I, I always joke that the bald people are the last group that can be made fun of and nobody cares. You saw the audience laugh when he, it was a big laugh he got from the audience. I said, if she was overweight, would he make a fat joke? No. I said, so it's, it's, I mean, I'm not in for Which cancel is, is, I'm, I'm, being woke. I, I agree with you, Jack. And I'm of the school of thought that he wasn't making a joke because she has a condition. I think he was making a joke because he saw and made a visual connection with somebody who yeah. had a short cut. Right. right. And, that, and that, that's why, I, I mean, maybe I'm just, maybe I, I'm a naive, right. But I, to think that he wasn't, you know, not like, you know, not trying to, to call her out, but like, oh, man. Fuck. Like it's just a sh- it's I, I think I think it was a shitty joke uh, and a snap judgment call on yeah. his part to just kind of like throw that out there. Bad call. I mean, because I mean, because he, he he's he comes from the SNL generation where Sinead O'Connor you know ripped the Pope yeah. on stage. You know what yeah. I mean? Like like to him, you know, he's like, okay, bald chicks are still not cool. 
So, <laughs> but at the same time, too, you you can't let like and, and you can't let that the, the that part of the situation overshadow the fact that there's something fucking wrong with Will Smith. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. there's something I, wrong. I, I, I said in the you know where they're slapping, there's fire. You know, there's like there's something more going on there. Yeah. So apparently, who's it? Somebody said that you know just because of all the articles or comments that have been saying that that someone that well, a friend of his said that he's had lifelong anger issues, and that was one of his things is that one of the reasons why he's always been a nice guy, like you know, had that persona is because he mm-hmm. kind of lets people run over him, and mm-hmm. then so but it boils to the top a lot, you know, and that you know, that's one of those moments where it did. It, it, it's it, uh, there's it, a there's he, another clip that was. Him? I don't know. What? There was another clip that was going around of of him slapping someone with the back uh, of his hand, like he was yeah, he was just kind of like some, chewing him some away. Guy, some some guy in the press, he's he's doing a I forget what the movie, but it might have been I Am Legend. Oh, did he guy, get kissed by somebody? The guy kept the guy kept kissing him. He goes, "What are you doing?" And he's kind of smacked him. Yeah, that's walking that, away. Yeah, that's self defense. Yeah, <laughs> to me, I'm like, okay, I, I don't want anybody kissing me. I don't want you know, you know, I, I'm that way too. It's, it was like, hey, don't touch me. So. So in my 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 deep dive of SNL actors and what have you, and, and listening to podcasts, uh, it was interesting. Chris the Chris Rock talking to Dana Carvey and and David Spade. They they get into like um, they get into um, therapy and and what their therapists have like helped them figure out. And right. it was interesting because Chris Rock, you know, there is this tough guy part about him but on the inside he's actually like this really sweet and loving and gentle person whereas dana carvey for being mistaken for chris tucker whereas whereas dana carvey's almost like (laughs) the opposite where he's so passive aggressive and like comes off as being nice but on the inside he's got a lot of rage and anger Mm -hmm. you know so they talked about that about that duality and i feel like we talked about this you might talk about it after shit did i freeze uh, I feel like we talked about this, but like, you know, already like, but we may have been after we hit, hit stop last two weeks ago or something like this. I remember you talking about them being in therapy. Cause like, did we also talk about another Jim Carrey talking about that as well? Cause that's what mm. comes to mind. Like, I heard, yeah, I, think we, Car- I, I do remember that. I do remember that. We, remember we had a very Jim long Carrey's talking about two hour podcast you know? um, last, last yeah. show that we did <laughs> episode 162. This is officially why I just, I just smack you guys to get the show to stop. You did. You, you shoved us around virtually so i can't wait oh, to see you in raleigh because i'm gonna slap you and then you can slap me and we'll have a slap fest but did i mention that though like did I, like, cause like jim carrey was talking about how his therapist told him how to think about depression because hmm. a lot of comedians suffer from depression mm-hmm. and and he was saying like i don't like the word depression i i prefer how my therapist calls it he calls it deep rest because when you're someone like us, he goes, he goes, everyone has melancholy. Everyone has sadness. Like you break it with your girlfriend, you have a fight, whatever. Like, you know, you're, you're, you're kind of down for a few days. He goes, that's not depression. He goes, depression is basically you've led this avatar or character life persona because you think it makes everyone around you happy. And then all of a sudden your brain just says, I'm done with that for a while. And you just basically shut down for days or weeks at a time. And that's what he says is like, don't think of it as like a bad thing. He's like, your brain is just doing what it should do. It's healing saying like, you know, you can't keep faking this part of you forever. And he goes, that's why I tend to look at it as a, a good thing instead of going, Oh man, I'm depressed. Like, you know, like, and he goes, no, I just need this. I need this rest right now. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Oh, I've never heard someone explain it that way. I was like, that's well, plus, just a plus different take. Actors I do. Stuff, I do stuff. remember you, you talking about that. Like Did I? Okay. A, a, a state of, yeah, I, know, I do like, remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Especially with actors and comedians, it's act. You know, especially when you get to a certain level, mm-hmm. you know, people. It's the whole thing where they build you up and then they want to tear you back down, and people are leeching off you and stuff like. Especially with a comedian, a stand-up comedian, where the pressure to perform and be on every single time you go on stage. You, I mean, if you don't, if you're off, you know, you're going to get booed. So I think there's pressure there, but. Uh, it's it's okay, funny hearing them it. hearing comedians talk about how to deal with hecklers and and how yeah. how they turn things around and I think the the one that I had heard was like I don't hey look I don't come to Jack and Box and like you know <laughs> well, uh, jerk off in the in the the meal that you prepare or something. Like that. <laughs> well, like, what popped in my brain with all that was, and then I realized it wasn't Chris Rock; it was uh, Dave Chappelle. But like you know, Jada Pickett Smith was out there in the audience during the Nutty Professor. Uh, yeah. 
And, you know, and it's Dave Chappelle heckling the net professor. I was like, wow, it's like life imitates art. And then I was like, oh, wait, no, it's, it's Dave Chappelle, not Chris Rock. But you can kind of see where they're similar. We were talking about Chris, how he handled it. I thought he did a really good job. Because if you watch the steel, he, when he gets smacked, he goes back. He does have a fist. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, yo, he it's did. Like, it's like, okay, I'm going to, if you keep coming at me, I'm going to hit hit back. Luckily, mm-hmm. Will, luckily, Will Smith turned around and walked away. But people are just like, it's fake, it's fake. I go, you just have to look at Chris Rock's reaction and say, it's not fake. No. Because he, he completely got, got rattled and, and you know, was trying to get back on hit. track. Yeah. He took a hit. I don't know if I, I I don't know if I would have taken it. I probably would. No, I I, I, I probably would have gone back and just you know. I I think I probably would have had the same reaction as Chris Rock because like you don't expect it to happen there of all places. Yeah, you know, because like you're on camera on stage, he's the host, and then just for like hit him and then walk off. You're like, what the hell just happened? I remember. Yeah, I remember uh, Beck talking about the Grammys and when Kanye Mm. got up and Beck won. Like he thought he he was like. He saw Kanye get up and start to approach, you know, like the the and and you're in an award ceremony situation. He thought Kanye was coming up to congrat, you know, to talk to him because he was like, "I'm a fan." He was like, "I'm a fan of Kanye," you know. He's just like he thought that it was just kind of like a, but it was instead like this this whole protest thing. And you know, so. Well, I know Kanye. He's been banned from the Grammys, right? I, thought I, heard I don't know. Today. I mean, I thought I heard today that he's banned from the Grammys. I, will I, was, be curious. I was reading somewhere that, that they might take the uh, the Oscar away from him. That's what I was about to say. It's like, I'll be yeah. curious to see with the Academy. I don't think they'll take it away from him, but they'll definitely... If they take it away from him, then they need to give take him away the real Lansky, 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 right? Come on. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, the guy's like banned out of the country, but yet uh, he can... Yeah, he gets a standing ovation from mm. the Hollywood crowd. So. Yeah, you know, you know what's funny? One of the things that Will's or the Jim Carrey was like, he's like, yeah, I, I would announce on Monday morning if I was Chris, I, I'm suing him for $200 million. Because yeah. you know why? Not because of the hit, because that video will never be gone. Ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's like, that video yeah. will always be in existence. It's going to be attached. Man, I would have slapped a $200, $200 million lawsuit against him. He, I, goes, he, used to, he just didn't want to deal I, with it. I was reading another article. I, I, would, I wouldn't want to do that. I was reading another article, but like, because people were asking, like, why was not Will Smith million, escorted maybe. from the audience? Because that's assault. It's a crime. You know, the cops should yeah. have actually escorted him. And the 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 official response from the academy was, is because they have no protocol for that situation. Mm-hmm. And it said that like they were running like scenarios at the time, like after it happened, like, do we go get him? Do we get security to escort him out? Like, what do we do? It said that by the time they figured out what to do, enough time had lapsed to where it would have caused right. another scene. If they would have game and got him, yeah. so it was like yeah. they just left him in the audience. What a dick! Well, it, let's it, talk I, about I, other stuff. I, 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 was watch, <laughs> I was watching. Well, I was watching one clip. Wait one second. I was watching one clip where, uh, where, um, oh, what's his name? Ricky Gervais was roasting uh, uh, Mel Gibson at the at the uh, what's that one where they all I drink? Love Gervais. Gold, golden gloves. He's just ter- he's calling him an alcoholic, a racist, and he goes, and all Mel Gibson did was laugh. Yeah. I mean, so anyway. I mean, that's that's what we you're can, supposed to do, you know, because, I mean, yeah. you know, it's one that's of the dumbest. It's one of the mind racist jokes that I throw at him. So, you know, <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's one of those that, you know, you're building the walls. That, one, the one of the made. one of the, the dumbest expressions I've heard in, in recent time was what was it like a uh, words or violence It's like, no, they're not. They're words. You know, violence is violence. Words are words. It's like, but we, so, but but but. but Again, oh. times have changed. I mean, like you, we were saying, okay, what Jim Carrey did 20 years ago. Unfortunately, there's no, with the social social media, there's no, if you've done something, you better get, you better, you know, like get all rid of all your tweets, all your stuff. Right. Suspended or banned, whatever it is. Um, I mean, I think there are some things that out. go beyond the pale, but I think there are also things that we can say, like, you know, people can grow. They can. They can yeah, well, I agree. I mean, yeah, I, I, agree. I look back at the things that I did when I was 18 and, you know, but also never rage. Yeah, a but Will Smith is not did, fucking 18. No, I'm talking no, about, I, I'm talking about the, the rape guy, the rape kid. No. Uh, but I'm just saying that there are things that, that I did when I look back and I'm like, oh, you know, those were dumb things. But I oh, never yeah. did something that was so violent or so, right. no. you know, I never beat oh. up a, a Chinese guy, you know, at the yeah. point where he was almost dead, you know. And I, yeah. I think we all have those. Walmart. We all have those moments. Because yeah. they do, they creep back in your brain, like just things you did when you were a teenager and you're like, fuck, did I really say that to somebody? Like, 
damn it, you know, because like mm-hmm. you do, you you it just stays with you when you know it was wrong, and you're like, fuck, yeah. I'm sorry. And I've actually gone back and apologized to people, you know, like, and they don't even have any clue what I'm you, talking you about. Well, it just, well, it just, for, it just well, because they're grave at Comic Con. They're what? They're grave. You never apologized to me. If what you said about. <laughs> I don't apologize to you, Jack, because you don't apologize to me, because you're just mean. Damn, <laughs> that is cold. that is that is true. I mean, I, I can't argue with you. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. <laughs> I can't defend it. What you're saying. I mean, yeah, if everyone I, out I, there, like Jack, always says that's your best one yet. You know, and he's and he's trying to be nice, but after we stop recording, he goes, Nick. I mean, fuck, dude, what the hell was that? I mean, he just he just rips into me. Well, yeah. I also said, can, I I t- I've talked to Matt, I texted him several times. Can you just tell Nick in a nice way? Stop with the fucking songs because they yeah. suck. But I, I don't, I don't Matt, say anything because Matt has the no same, backbone. Well, no, yeah. because in the same text, you're just ripping me a new asshole for being the worst producer ever. You know, so, that, is, right. that is just that, a tear down, that's, psychological that's, tear down. It, you you if, say what about Chris? I said Chris is too busy surfing the net when we're. we're if words, if yeah. words are violence, then I have been stripped of all my dignity. <laughs> the the jeans have been ripped off. I've fucked a sheep. <laughs> I mean, everything. <laughs> well, you, I, were, the, were the jeans ripped off before you fucked the sheep? Or I don't know. After? Whatever you guys have done. All right, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna change the subject because you guys are getting bitter. What? Yeah, we should do. We should take a commercial break before we do. We that. should do that. Brought to you by Legos. <laughs> Speaking of Legos. <sighs> oh, here. Let me oh, cute! On. I remember you saying you did oh, that. Is yeah. that Legos? Yes, yeah, Legos. Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. So you did this really on your cool. own for, for reference. Uh, Chris is showing us a Lego nice version um, of a photo that of him and his My daughter. daughter so, so you did this on your from scratch. You didn't have no, to. No, no, no. I'm not taking any undue credit with this. But you, uh, you upload a photo and it, you can print out like uh, essentially. Uh, if you're on Lego, you buy the Mosaic Maker, which is this this, this kit, which comes with a fuckload of it's just a like fuck one, one by one tiles, right? The little one by one tiles of these little yes. guys here. Uh, I literally have oh, okay. five thousand of these, um, and a lot left over. So you you upload a photo onto Lego.com. Do they? Did, did they did... Go ahead. Do they all come in black and white, or can you get it in color? Uh, no, I so think it's all black it's, and white. It's all black, white, um, gray, gray, and yellow. If you decide to, so you you go on to Lego.com and you can um, you upload a photo, and you actually like a slider that you can kind of like the saturation Ooh, of the photo and went. And what that uh, the Those uploader does, it, it, it configures no matter what the slider is that you use. Oh, you missed it. There you Ooh. go. Um, it will always it'll always uh, print out a instruction sheet based upon that would fit within the the parameters of the, what's in the kit. So, like you're never gonna create your your picture will never exceed the amount of pieces. So, it's, that so come it says with gray, it. gray, black, wax. Well, what no, you literally print out. It's not like paint by numbers, right? No, it Matt segregates no. the blacks so you, and the whites. You, you, it, it, it's not even an instruction manual. It's, it's this. this. You print and this the gray. Out. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So you print that out, and then you just got to like mimic the... Uh, oh, okay. Oh, I see. And it just sends you the pieces, and you mimic that. Yes. Right, exactly. So oh, that's uh, nice. that came out pretty cool. I was pretty excited about that. And then... Oh, you made another one of his dick. When this become cool. the Chris show? <laughs> Another. Oh, I got the bonsai. Yeah. Cool. Oh, and you, and you, nice. went the, you went with the blossoming. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, it has all those frogs that it comes with. Wax on, yeah. wax off. I thought it was kind of cool. So, it's pretty pleased with it. I'll, I'll, uh, nice. I'll have to go upstairs and get, grab my bonsai here after a while. So. <laughs> you have a real bonsai. Is that, is that, is that what you call your sheep nowadays? <laughs> no, I have like, I, I had a <laughs> terrible high <laughs> five. High five. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Sherry. She said it's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, it is awesome. Um, my daughter is super stoked about it. So I, I have to find a way to mount that against the wall, though. Double sided um, tape. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Maybe like Velcro tape or whatever. Well, I was also thinking maybe like a, wait, maybe like, a, like a menu on uh, menu. Uh, what the fuck am I high? Probably um, like a mirror mount, like this little claw mirror mounts, like you know you see like on the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they have like just like a little pin that goes in and it has a, like an elbow. Oh, I think gotcha. I call it like an elbow. Um, but yeah, so it would work too. it's on. It's on. You know, regular. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, base, cause... base plate. Yeah. Okay. Cause... Yeah. Could that's you put it, it in a frame though? Could you frame? Um, it? I don't think it would fit because it's real so it's fucking just thick. base plate based. Huh. It's a base plate with have... single one with one by one tiles. Yeah. Because oh, okay. the um, 
the uh, Beatles ones, you actually build your Yeah, base. those are different. You're actually building the frame and everything out, but this is just a base plate. But hey. no, it's still still really cool. I've wanted to do something like that with a base plate before, like do some that is really art. cool. I, I would like to do something like that. It's wicked fucking overpriced, Jack. I'll tell you that, but it's fun. Are you I can't saying I can't you're saying I can't afford it? Yeah. Okay, thanks. No, it's my it's my only regret. Is it, it, I paid I overpaid for it, but it's cool. That was my that was my uh, my I'm sorry gift to my daughter <laughs> when I finished oh, the Millennium Falcon. Falcon without her. Um, but yeah. Oh, Dan, you it built works. the Millennium Falcon without me. You didn't let her finish the Oscars. I know. Falcon. Just man. I thought so, I was. Well, so I, 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 did, I did have something I wanted to talk about. Like it happened like two and a half weeks ago. One second. One second. One okay. more Lego comment. I just want to ask Chris. Okay. So like, what's what's the next one you're ordering, Chris? DeLorean, it... baby. DeLorean. Oh okay. yeah, the okay. DeLorean. That Dude, DeLorean this is... this Lego thing's a fucking addiction, isn't it? Why did the guy have so many? <laughs> like, I finished building that bonsai tree last night. I was like, oh fuck. Uh, what else can I do? <laughs> how, how, how long? How long? How long did it take for the bonsai tree? Uh, a couple hours. Yeah, the, the the thing with the bonsai tree that the like the 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 time consuming part was putting all those little frogs and flowers on the branches, and not. Could you share the? Uh, share wants to know what the the website just is. Lego.com. Oh, it's, yeah, it's just Lego.com. Um, so the the product is the. Uh, Foot. What do you think? Photo? Mosaic. Mosaic. I think yeah. is it? It's, the, it's, uh, it's under the Lego art section. Mosaic portrait. Yeah. So, so, oh, so Sherry, if you can see the number there, just t- go in. The the, when you go not, in, just type in four zero one four zero one seven nine. Yeah. yeah, and then it'll find it. Eight six seven five three zero nine is four zero seven nine. It just comes Eight, with six, it comes seven, with five, five three, boxes three, of nine. like of these. That's twice two podcasts in a row. I've used that. So it comes with like five of these little boxes. <laughs> these, are, these are yellows. I didn't end up using the yellows. Oh, oh nice. Okay. Well, you can use those um, for other stuff. You know. Yeah. yeah. There's that a lot yellow of brick wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, or yellow brick road. Yellow but yeah, road. it's um pretty cool. I mean, I I recommend it. I wish it didn't cost as much as it does. It's 130 bucks. Yeah, I thought it. I I thought it was a hundred, hundred and twenty or hundred and thirty. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Yeah, but it's kind of cool they do it, man. Like so, when you when you upload that photo, you you know what you're gonna get, and it automatically configures it to fit within the parameters of the parts that you receive. So, um, cool nonetheless. And uh, one of these days, I'll get it mounted up, and I'm gonna put it up in my daughter's wall. Nice. All right. All right, Jack, you can talk now. Yeah. Okay. I just had it's similar to Lego talk, and because uh, we've all stepped on Legos. <laughs> Ouch. But you know, Luke. I watch my grandkids every day. A couple weeks. Owen ago, Wilson. And Luke. I used to have Luke Wilson or Owen Wilson. Oh, I did. Ouch. <clears throat> Ow. Ouch. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Ow. Ow. As opposed to wow, it's ow. So. ow. so anyway, I'm walking around. I'm looking for something that my grandson will not go to sleep without. I'm looking. I go, why the fuck does he, he has this little baby thing? He loves a little baby lamb he has to have. And Yep. Because he has about. to have this, and my granddaughter has the one something that makes too. the noises. The... It makes no noise. It's, it oh, doesn't okay. go, hey, Matt's behind me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I, mean, uh-huh. I, I feel bad. Don't, here, go ahead and slap me. <laughs> Jack, Anyways, you, just, you, you just peaked. Pete Gretchen, you, you, you out just your... peaked. <laughs> no, yeah. I like how you bleeped yourself, even though you're on that. Jack, Jack, you should just quit right now because you just peaked. That was fucking I'm out. awesome. <laughs> I'm out so, anyway, I'm walking around. I'm getting, and I, I get frustrated when I can't find something like we all do. I get really mad. And I'm like, where is it? Because he's like, Papa, pa. I go, I'm looking for it. What did you do with it? It's over here. So, anyway, it's really bad when you're high, too. Yeah, exactly. But before I found it, I stepped on this. This is a mini mouse type Ow. thing. That's, that's solid. That, oh, that is... Right on my right foot. Right, and I went. I, I swear to God, I thought I broke my foot. I go. I. It was all bruised. It was all black and blue on the thing. I said, "Did you? Did you just not see it on your stupid the toys?" I didn't see. I was so flustered at that point because usually you I were you were in this. panic mode. You were in like, "Oh, I gotta find this thing." I, I gotta and find like... this stupid baby. I gotta find this stupid baby because every day before his nap, now I try and find it. Like before he takes his nap, I'm like, "Look, okay, where's this? Where do you leave it?" Because he just drops, he just walks around. He, no matter where he's at, he drops things. Uh, I like how you have it up on your desk. You're like, I brought this up on my desk. I wanted to talk about this. Well, no, I I, I took it out of the playroom, <laughs> put it in my room. So, okay, if they if she asked for it, if 
Ava asked for it. I'll give it back to her. She doesn't. But I, when I came in, I go, oh, that's right. I was going to talk about this a couple weeks ago. But anyway, that's all I got. It hurt like fucking hell. And it's still, my foot still hurts, if that's any consolation. Hmm. But yeah, that's all I got. So yeah, bye, everybody. Okay. Night. <laughs> and that was it. That was all. Yeah, we, we just see the survivor from. thing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I know Jack and I watched it. Uh, I mentioned it in our text back and forth. Uh, I saw the outfit last weekend, uh, and I, Chris I wanted to see it, but Jack and I saw it, and it's a superb movie. Yeah, it's funny because Cindy and I were going, let's go to the movies. Let's let's mm-hmm. just get out and go, go to the movies. movies. Let's, let's go to the draft house and and watch a movie. And I said, she goes, what? I go, what's out there? I go, wait, wait. Nick Nick suggested something, and he gave it an A minus. Yeah. She was she goes, wait, Nick likes something. I go, yeah. So it's got to be good, right? Yeah. And uh, so we went on your recommendation and I would say I really liked it. I thought, yeah. I thought it was really good, but it's not, it, I had no idea what the movie was about. Right. Neither did I. It. Yeah. And it's like, and I don't want to spoil anyone who hadn't seen it, but it's like, okay, is this only location they're going to be at? Right. That's why like, when you're done, you kind of go, was this a play made into a movie? Yeah. Because it's one of those I, where it's just in one location the entire time. I said, time. I, I told, I told Cindy, I said, this was like a play. Mm-hmm. And I go, and they did such a great job because there's not a lot of, there's barely any action in it, but what they did and what they, how they set it up and how the actors were acting and the writing, you could, because there was action going where you couldn't see it. If that makes sense, right? It's just it's not for it's not going to be for everybody. I, I know people. Some people wouldn't like it. They th- say it's going to be boring, but I, I thought it was fantastic. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's what I was saying. I thought A minus was a was a good review of it. It's like it's it's great. You won't be disappointed. But it's also like it's not perfect. So that's why it's like an A minus. It's like it's, I gave it an A. That's okay. why it's a seven point five on IMDb. <laughs> what does IMDb know? What do they just know? a bunch of people being like, man, I hate that. Um, but it, it was it was if you if you had time go see it. I thought it was really good. Yeah, I mean of all the things, all the movies that have come out in the last what five months. I mean that's probably one of the better ones I've seen. You know, it's, yeah, because uh, we're watching we're watching the previews. I'm like going. The only one that was close, I went with the Michael Bay movie with uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. I go maybe, hmm. maybe I, I don't know. It's just like uh, it's just not. And Top Gun's coming out in May, so I'll go watch Top Gun. That was supposed oh, to be I out like three years Gun. ago. So Mark Rylance, who's the, that, that, that's the lead actor in that movie, right? Is what's his? Um, I, I, I've only seen the trailer. Like, does he kind of have that like aloofness character that he has from um, uh, Don't Look Up slash Ready Player One, or is it? What's your, what's your take on his? He's he's, his he's more of like a sophisticated British guy in this one. Yeah. But he keeps to very, himself. Yes, you know? very, very methodical. Yeah, very anal about stuff. Think um, about Randy and what he would be like. Alan. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's that's who it was. I mean, it's definitely it's definitely him, Chris. You know, um, but it's one of those movies that it's not a tr- true whodunit type movie, but it's 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 in that vein. You know, of like who's the rat. You know, is there layers to this, which there are, you know, like, and so it's, 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 it's interesting. You know, it's, an, it, I, plot wise, it's, it's pretty solid. Yeah. I, I, and it, it, I don't want to spoil you. So I'll, I'll be quiet, but the, uh, does have a few twists. But that's all you need to go into it. You know, is that yeah. he is, uh, it's definitely something I did not know, which you are educated on, is that he is a cutter, which is someone who actually makes suits. You know, it's not tailor, a tailor. It's, He's not a tailor. I'm a cutter. Like, you know, because a tailor is just someone who already has the suits there, you know, and then they can, uh, you know, hem them. They can, you know, thread stuff on. But he's the one who actually, like, cuts all the material to make the suit. And, uh, and I couldn't do I couldn't do that job. Yeah. Way too tedious. But it was interesting. Yeah, it was, it was a good Yeah, movie. I'll probably check it out. I mean, I might I have Thursday off. I'm, or no, I don't have Thursday off. What the fuck am I talking about? I'm working like next five days straight. Um, <laughs> I think I'll I, see it they, sometime soon. But Alamo, they still require a mask. Really? Yeah. 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 And I was like, but as long as it's you order, good. when you order food, you can take the mask off. So that, I think that's their, I think that's their, because they want to <laughs> that's the their food. Plan. That's what they're making Just their money. The they food say, so that you yeah, can take well, your mask off. We make off. them have the mask on. So I order food and I just go. 
but now they're what what uh, Fauci was saying today that we might have to there's things coming down the line again. Well, the yeah. BA the BA two, yeah. So is BA. that the new uh, is that the new? Uh... Well, it's a variant from the Omicron. So basically, the Omicron has had babies. So yeah. well, that's Yippee! great. Oh, that's great. I think, um, I, I think the country's done with it. Like we're kind of like at that point where it's like yeah. I, don't I, don't, I don't I don't, I don't care you, anymore. I, people will I, just die. I don't think so you're gonna get people. Shit. Will you get people to wear masks again? I, probably mm-hmm. not. I mean, you know, up here in the Northeast, I would say we're probably still thirty to forty percent people wearing masks. Well, it's twenty degrees out there, so it keeps you warm. That's true. It's cold as fuck. Um, I mean, they've already well, shown that the cloth masks do very little. So it's one of those things where it's like, do people have enough N95s? Yes or no. And so it's right. going to be one of those things where, like, well, yeah, you can't I really still, say I everyone have, go out and buy an N95. Yeah, I still have a good supply of some N95s on hand. Um, so hopefully. I, I I bought the N94s. Oh, <laughs> the N94s. I, I, yeah. bought st- I bought stock in that. And it was yeah. like, Oh sure, you had to one up me. God. Right. I was just worried about the NY2K. Yeah. Um uh, yeah. so uh there was a movie I saw over the course of whenever we last talked, which was and I and I know I missed the boat on this. You guys saw it before me, Ghostbusters Afterlife. I finally oh, got around to seeing oh. that. So and that was really enjoyable. Watched it with my son, and um I subjected my son to all three Ghostbusters. Um well, Ghostbusters one, Ghostbusters two. There's four. And, well, okay, we haven't seen the the female led team one. Oh, so. sexist. Uh, yeah. No, we probably will. But anyway, we were working our way up to Ghostbusters Afterlife because I knew that it would connect to the the original, and so we watched that, and uh, it was so good. He wanted to watch it twice. Like we watched it the next night, you know. So that was a real big stamp, and. Huge stamp of approval for my daughter, who is a super fraidy cat. She's always been a little bit more like ghost scare her, just terrify her. And so to get don't her tell to her what's watch, next door. to get her to watch, <laughs> I know that's why I don't like to talk about it. Um, but to get her to watch a Ghostbusters movie and she was laughing and enjoying it the whole way. It was just, it was Which nice. One, the, the first one? No, after no, the new one. Yeah. So, and and she knew some of the characters because she had seen them in, or some of the actors because uh, the main female lead appears on Young Sheldon, as Randy would know. So she plays the character Paige, and then She's also, also Fuller House. Oh, is she? Nice. The um, main character, the mom? No, no the, the, the no girl. Young, young girl, the, the young, young girl. girl. Oh, the young girl, the, the yeah. singer. The singer. Correct. Did she, did she sing? She sings the. She she sang the 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 song that was in the credits. Hmm. Huh. I didn't know that. Yeah. Really. Huh. Triple I know it's a threat. girl, and you don't really like female singers, but. It was so it was a good movie. I liked it. I would give it, um, you know, more than an A minus. <laughs> <laughs> I joke. I'd say probably like the the cream inside the cookie. Of, of that is is probably halfway through the movie. There is a scene with uh, um, Paul Rudd's character going into Walmart that is just I don't know. I could watch really? that. Yeah, I love that. It's just funny um, how I got different takes, you know? Because like to me, yeah, that's where I, the movie derails. Yeah, no, I, I love that. Yeah, it's a little I much. That. Yeah, I, I thought I, 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 this is, I said this. This is the scene to make money. That that was that was a toy scene. But you but, know yeah, what? I still love it's, the movie. It's hey. You know, if you want this franchise to go on, if you want it to survive, you're going to have to get kids like my son, who is, I was, who is turning I was 12, happy and my with... daughter, who's 15, to laugh and love something like this and be willing to get them I... into the theater in three years' time and get their right. teenager I money. It. I thought so... it was really good, but I'd been happy with just one Ghostbuster movie. Yeah, I think so. I mean, because that's like, you know, not, not too... Well, the, the, not the too... ending, there is a little bonus scene. That but the end, like the ending set. is what saves it, in my opinion. Because, like, mm. I, I thought the, the opening was solid, you know, with... You yeah. know, with the, uh, I can't the remember the ending. Leaving the mountain, you know, in the house and all that, you know, the trap not working. I was like, that's great. And then, the, you know, the whole setup is a bit drawn out. Uh, and then... <laughs> That's why I get. I gave it a C minus because I, to me, it was. The I know. Force, it I know. Was the Force were, Awakens. I remember you being. Style. I remember yeah. you being a little bit more negative on it, but I, yeah. 
I John, went into this, it, the I also went into it with no no expectations for it. I was just like, okay, yeah. what, whatever. And, I didn't and then either, to see, no. and 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 maybe there's there is that difference. I mean, I I had the yeah. same reaction to a lot of the Disney Star Wars movies. You know, yeah. like we split on it because yeah. I I do enjoy it through my kids' eyes. Mm-hmm. You know, as yeah. as a dad taking his kids or sitting there, you know, so it's like if I'm laughing, I'm enjoying it. They're enjoying it. Like, and then. It, so I don't know. It's there were certain things that like even my son got like real specific about. He, oh no no dad, this happens in this, and I was like, oh I was thinking about this and this, and I was like, dude, you're getting into the mythology, which is cool, you know. Yeah. So, well, like, like, he's I, breaking I, it down. like even Jay, like because you know Jay loves to hear me bitch. Uh, uh, like he did, he did see it from my point of view, as in like I would have liked it better if you would have introduced uh, Gozer like early on and actually had it go beyond you know, the monument, you know, actually build upon the first film instead of just kind of doing a retelling of the ending of the first film. I and thought it connected it to it in some way because it, you, you get some of the mythology. You do. It. That's and, true. and you're also kind of learning why the building was built in New York city. So I felt like there was like mm-hmm. a, actually like kind of a more of a New York city. Um, mm. it, anyway, I mean, paste picante sauce. Yeah, was is. that a paste picante it sauce? Is. Right it is because I, my wife and I will say that every New time. New York City. Yeah, yes. anytime it's been saying it for what, thirty years. That that commercial and the Chi Chi's commercial, the kid in the trench coat would like stick the thing into the salsa and suck up the salsa into his trench coat. No, I don't remember that. that one. I do remember that. Mm-hmm. All right. I yeah, remember that. I that's always kinda, thought like that's kind of gross. What what are what are yeah. those bags made of? Is it you know like sheepskin? Is it uh, oh, plastic? Sheep bag. I always come back to sheepskin. I mean, you would know the feel. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I thought John UPS guy had an interesting comment. Are there ghost sheep? I don't think. Why do you, Why sheep. do you think she's? Why do you think his daughter's scared of white fluffy things? Because she's seen. <laughs> she's seen too much. You keep my daughter's name out of your. <laughs> <laughs> uh, High five, Matt. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> the episode titles you keep this podcast out of your fucking ears. <laughs> yeah, Maybe people will listen. They'll be like, oh, well, they're gonna be talking about the Will Smith thing. So I, I've been I've been uh I've been watching Severance and I'm I'm up to date uh, anxiously awaiting the next episode of Severance. Okay, which, I've tried I've tried to dive in on this show. I was actually it's, about to bring that up as well. So I, I, I it was hard for me to start watching and the more I've gotten watch watched it, it's just like now I'm like head first in, like mm-hmm. just soak it up. I, I, it's gotten to the point now where I'm like, fuck, this is like appointment television now. I have to wait till next week for the next episode to come out. Um, and the suspense of this of this show has been fantastic. That's Apple TV, far- right? It Apple is. TV. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know how far along you guys are. I'm all um, in. Oh, you are? I am, okay, I am not. You guys I, 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 mentioned it, I mentioned it a few it's weeks okay. back. Like, y'all should watch it. Yeah. yeah I haven't started I, yet. It's man it's good it's real good and there's uh you get I mean, the, halfway the, if, if i mean basically to me is that the first two episodes will definitely intrigue you but once you get to the elevator scene yeah oh if you're God. not hooked by the elevator scene then you're was yeah, it was yeah. he in a wheelchair the whole time no, <laughs> no but um they play Aerosmith, like, though. Like, let's just say it's it, it, this isn't giving anything away, but Christopher Walken is in the show, yeah. and he's oh. not introduced until like halfway through the first season. Um, and it's just in that, and it literally opens up. Do you want entire, more cowbell? Yeah, it literally opens up an entire like, um, like part of like this universe. You're like, what the fuck? And it's just, it's one of those shows that just every week you, you get something more that you're like, what is going on here? But I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to keep fantastic. going with it. I, I tried to dive in on that first episode and uh, I, I fell asleep. So yeah, fair. With you. yeah. So, and, and I, I just, I just, it's, I just it's liked one of those, the concept yeah. of it so much in the first two episodes of just like, I was intrigued in, by it. In, just in some like, ways, you're like, that could be pretty cool. Sorry. But then as it starts to really be get more into the show, you're like, this is like a living hell if this yeah. really would happen to you. You know, if you guys and, want uh, to talk more about it, I'll, I'll, I'll no, 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 it's, it's okay. No. It's okay. Um, um, I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued you, by it for sure because I like I'll the concept that, of it. Yeah, the, but the show that I'm falling asleep to, and I'm trying, I'm struggling to, <laughs> to, to pick up with. This podcast? Uh, no, that too. But that's you. I've been struggling watching Raised by Wolves. 
Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Fucking I, hell. See, I love season one because it's it's just very focused on. That's what I'm on. Oh, really? Yeah, dude. Like, I, I, season one up until the last episode to me was good because it's focused on the kids and it's focused on the two robots uh, or androids, whatever you call them. Um, and then the, the season finale, season one, kind of like you're like, what is this? You know, and then season two, I've only watched the first three episodes and I kind of gave up on it because it, when it starts getting into this larger world of like the religious people versus the scientist people, you're like, right. I don't care anymore. I just don't care. See, I, I've gotten to the point in the, in the series in which they've discovered a fairly important character is pregnant. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Guy? And there's, there's a whole like arc of uh, that particular character. I'm not trying. I'm trying to discuss as best I can without giving away the plot. That particular character kind of goes on like this, like quest to kind of like write themselves and you're just like what the fuck is happening and what right. like why what, how is this even pertain to everything i've watched up to this point because to nix you to your point it is very much focused on the kids and the kind of the growing the kids growing up on this on this planet um but and i'm hoping it kind of reels itself what, back what's in a little what bit. channel what's this on what's HBO. hbo hbo okay yeah it, it's it to me it's one of those that i think it, if 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 it just done, done it to me, I would have liked it a lot better if it had just been one solid season, really complex, and then that's it. Because like to me, I don't think it can last because uh, it just has not sparked my interest in season two at yeah. all. And uh, uh, I just, I, I mean, I did, I liked how it started off, and then it just kind of started to wane interest in it. Yeah, I was like that with Outlander. Yeah. I like the love the first season. The second season was so boring. I just quit. Yeah. Even though people say it's great, I just I, can't, I couldn't get past the uh, second season. But I was watching a uh, I'm watching that uh, Laker thing. What's a uh, winning? Mm-hmm. Or, and I, I can't imagine anybody that Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Norm Nixon, Jerry West. Um, um, I think Jerry Buss is dead, right? So yeah, I think he's his, his daughter ha- runs the team now. I can't imagine anybody of those people going. Hey, I'm glad they're doing this 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 show <laughs> because they they're all they they all are just assholes. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, uh, real, and real that, quick, I, I I just wanted to note uh, Sherry's comment there. Just kind of go back to Severance for a hot second, but Sherry, Sherry yeah. says, "I love the elevator scenes where they segue between his uh, Severance life and his work at home, work from yeah. home." Um, the acting is outstanding in that minute, dude. It is, yeah. So yeah. To, to anyone who's hasn't seen um, Severance, we talk about this a lot now. But um, when the ele- the employee goes down the el- a specific elevator, like they their their entire personality switches from their work to their to their uh, at home life, and you see it happen. And she's right, like the the expression, like the the expression acting, like on 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 what's his name's I, face. I, did, I, I have got... I have caught that that much. That's... And like, but but you haven't seen him stressed out yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know right. what I mean. Like, you have, you you haven't seen him in a, in a bad place yet. Uh, and then just to see that, like, like it almost looks like he's got like prosthetics in his face. Like, like mm. he's just a different person, and it's a pretty incredible. Uh, bit he's of using acting. computer enhancements. Right. <laughs> Sorry, I I, 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 know I, I, I definitely Lakers, but I definitely want to watch it. I just uh, yeah. Uh, an- another uh, another series. I I brought it up two weeks ago, and you guys really do need to watch it. Okay. Um, on Apple TV, I watch. Uh, I watch your fucking movie. No, not that. Uh, it's uh, Samuel Jackson. Total McGray is fucking awesome. Okay. Uh, it's probably the first time. Total McGray. P T E L Total McGray, but it's P like like pterodactyl. Is it like Greg Silent? Greg Legos. Like P T O L M E Y. G R E Y, like M O U S E, and like uh-huh. it's really good. And it's probably I I I guarantee uh, Samuel Jackson is going to get an Emmy nod for this because good. it's it's the best acting I've seen him doing in a long time. He better or someone's going to get slapped. But basically, he has dementia or early trying, onset, early onset hard, Isaac, right uh, Alzheimer's, <laughs> and the first two episodes to me are almost anxiety driven because you don't know who to trust with him because he doesn't know what he's doing. His uh, Alzheimer's dementia is early, early onset Alzheimer's, hmm. and he's slowly forgetting. And 
uh, I don't want. I'm not going to give any of the plot away, other than like just like the basic things. But you've ruined the show. He, he uh, a doctor sees him in the first or second episode, and they I'm never going to watch it. used to go to this uh, this trial for this shot that's supposed to give you back your memories. Oh, and it's. it's oh, I remember just, you talking about it's this. It's so good. It's so good. Yeah, it doesn't he like in in the preview or the trailer like the this this shot gives him literally all everything of his everything. memories like, yeah. like he, it's supposed to be it's three shots but the first one like gives him a little bit and the second one like and then he has to have a third one and so he it's good but like I think they're on the that's cool uh, yeah the, I mean, fifth, some, the fifth episode people, will be out Friday and you have some people really refuse good. to take the shot right. <laughs> But it's it's good. It's just really good. And even the girl, like the girl that's with him, um, at first you do not like her at all, like the way that she's introduced. And then like she grows on you. And like I wouldn't be surprised if she even got a nod for best supporting actress right. in an Emmy because it's it's really really well done. Hmm. I got gotta hand it to the old Apple TV Plus, and they they yeah, sure know good. how to buy properties. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna. I was. I'm doing. A, I'm gonna do, be doing a video on the the worst trade in sports history and i've been doing some research and chris might find this interesting that the yeah. boston celtics could have moved to san diego wow where there are and, no irish and there, there there was a <laughs> chance <laughs> larry larry bird should have actually played for the san diego clippers hmm. that's weird so just uh huh i thought chris would find that interesting that his i don't know if you're a celtics fan um i i'm not i mean i am but like I, I haven't watched basketball since the big three with uh, um, Paul Harris, Pierce Bird and him. no, no, Paul oh. Pierce, Kevin Garnett, and um, Jesus Shuttlesworth. Um, Those are the big three. Well, that's the last big three that they had. That was back in like the you know mid two thousands. I yeah. think it was. Uh, I haven't watched since then. Um, and before that, I wasn't a really diehard basketball fan growing up. So yeah, I just found some it was different. Second. How, 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 Chris, how can you grow up in the 80s and not be a Celtics fan? Yeah. So basketball was not like a, a very popular sport in my household. Like I, my, my dad didn't watch basketball. And if he did, how? like I don't remember it. How? But, like, how? But, but everybody, how? How? But everybody how? watched the Celtics back in the 80s, though. So, I mean, that was kind of like a, um, that was kind of like a, uh, I don't know. Golden I remember. Era. I remember. Like it, the go, it was like when the, was, when the Celtics were incredible. Like they were. They, were they had the luck of the Irish. Um, you could say. Yeah, I just, just never got into it. I was much. I was much more of a Irish. Red Sox. But I mean, Red Sox. In my DNA. Else. I've looked up a Bruins. lot of stuff. Yeah, but the Red You're Sox still fucking winning, talking, man. The, the Red Sox <laughs> weren't winning championships back then. But I was into baseball. No. Like I, as a kid, I was. I played a lot of baseball. So. You had your dream of playing at, at Fenway Park, right? Yeah, I did. Miami Mike has shown up. He's Real. found us. Yeah, Jesus, Jesus, shuttle. Time to shut this thing down, guys. Wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I actually forgot to post about this show. I think on Instagram, didn't I? Or did I? Maybe I did. Um, I don't know. I had a nightmare about posting this episode. Ep- episode. 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 <laughs> We're gonna have a really good episode for you tonight. Episode in the world. <laughs> so I thought Chris was like, I still, Chris is not a basketball fan, so just forget the. Music oh, talking okay, about. sure. Let's forget about it. Sorry, but what about that Tom Brady? We didn't talk about that, huh? He's we'll back. That guy. What about him? Okay, we won't talk about him. He has to give all. He has to give all of his retirement gifts back to the people that gave him. Yeah, uh, I think Peyton Manning wanted his bottle of wine and his letter. His I thought that was back. funny. Who <laughs> would <laughs> That letter gave you the password to my I think it's, plus account, and I want it back. Okay. What's the theory out there? Is, there's a theory out there. Someone made a good point that he was so pissed at the the press for the Deflate Gate, uh, even though his, his even he has though a friend named Deflater. Um, but he he that he's fucking with the press now to you know like retiring and the, to get them. No, to, he's not. He's. That, Fuck, that's, what, that's stupid. Like he's, he's fucking with the press, you're, you're literally giving the press more stories. Like no, but no, the he's, press but, loves this. No, and like I said, he was he's going to retire. He's doing this. He's doing that. There's that's a theory. The there's a and, theory, and even there's a rumor he, out there he's going to go to the Dolphins. Yeah, I heard about that too. Which I, 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 I
How does who, I mean, Mike feel? How does Matt feel about him going to the Dolphins? Me? I mean, I mean Brady's a bit old to become paper. <laughs> I think. I think. Man, I think, shots are fired tonight. I think anyway. everyone's gotten a pretty good dig on themselves tonight. But it's, it's we the, did. It's, we we it's have the, a good time, guys. I mean, you're a Patriots fan, there. Uh, uh, I am. I, I'm assuming you're still a Patriots fan. I am. But um. What do you think about the AFC? It's it's pretty loaded. And the Patriots are going to be shit for at least five years. I'm so but upset they have, that they have that a the decent Colts team. Matt Ryan. I mean, that, it's not good enough. Matty, not nice. I, I think really... that was a good. Matty Ryan. That... Matty Ryan's gotten fucked over for the last 15 years. He's okay, so is this is this just a, a, a lot good, of the a... Colts? We're just going to take all of the the like second rate shitty ass. I think he's I, I, that's a that's a good move for the Colts. I think I think I think he's going to fucking perform I, in Indianapolis. I think he's they, got a they great just, quarterback. They just, need, they just needed a co- look at the they had a great running I, game, I hope, great offensive I hope line, can great defense. Wrong. They just needed a quarterback. I'm just not very he's happy. infinitely better than anything you've had since Peyton I, I'm telling you right now he's better really you're saying that he was better than Philip Rivers Jack yeah. Boy yes no. yes you're saying that he was better than Philip Rivers I'm, I'm telling you right now he will outperform Philip Rivers in Indianapolis well they got a, they have a better team now than they had with Philip Rivers true so they do I mean it's just I bet he's gonna be better <laughs> I like how Miami <laughs> Mike says uh, Matt Ryan will really be getting screwed making 40 mil this season. <laughs> well, you look at the, what, what the Cleveland, because the, they had the owners meeting this week and everyone's mad at the Cleveland Browns because they guaranteed every penny of the $240 million to Deshaun Watson. Unbelievable. Usually, usually it's just the bonus. But you look at Cincinnati, with, they have Burrow and you have Herbert in Los Angeles and all these different guys. Nice. <laughs> speaking, speaking of getting paid, like I, I but, of getting laid. But getting what are those guys gonna get paid? I mean, it's just ridiculous. Yeah. Well, like my dad told me this, which I he could be wrong because my dad's known to be wrong. Um, I knew that in college football that players could now get endorsements and be paid that way, but he was saying that now universities are gonna pay the athletes as well, which to me is a kind of scary because like you're gonna because like they're talking about with uh, the youngest Manning kid that's about to you know be a freshman this coming fall is like that the the like Texas and Alabama Alabama but you know Alabama Alabama and Texas and all them offering him like eight million dollars switch out again university is like well doesn't that kind of doesn't that kind of fuck up the whole system if like you can just pay these these kids that are unproven right. to well, play you're, you're in college still gonna football. have I, but I don't think they get I think there's a limit on what they can make, but I think they get like a percentage of their jerseys that are sold and merchandise. That's fine. That's fine. That's that's fine. Yeah, that, 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 should, that should have that should have yeah. always been the case. If, if, oh, for sure. I mean, the, why are these the people making millions on my making, name? Making money on a name. Yeah. I mean, so. they they get they get a free education, which is good, but still. Yeah. I mean, to me, it's one of those things where no, like, they yeah, don't. Yeah. So they get shit education, but like they don't no, go well, to they, class. Well, they get. They don't have to pay for it. No, they 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 physically do not go to class. Like some they do. they some, go to play some football. Do. No, some they do. don't. Yeah, no, they fucking you're saying every do. player. You think go. every player in every all star college. every starter on a, a Big Ten team or they don't fucking go to class. Like that's I... just no chance. It's all business. And to think that these guys are just so you're, starting you're to saying, get paid you're saying they're, is they're, horseshit. They've been getting paid for years. So like, you're saying that college basketball, men's college basketball players, are are getting preferential treatment over like I don't know, just some random random girl that plays plays uh, yes. volleyball varsity. Like you, <laughs> yes. They, oh, okay. That is. Whew, I, this I, is news to me. Fucking lutely saying that. That is wild. I did not know that. Uh, yeah, I remember. I remember. Uh, <laughs> yes, I remember, I remember seeing the dorm rooms for freshman athletes and going, "What the fuck?" It's like basically a, a damn apartment, you know. Whereas you're crammed in a, a ten by ten little nothing. But you're yeah, not trying to have sex money. in that thing. Yeah, on a bunk bed. <laughs> okay, your, your maybe, roommates are I, going. Hey man, what, you got a new girl. <laughs> what it would hurt? It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt the smaller colleges. 
because yes. they're not going to be you, like the Dukes of the world where allegedly some people have been paid. But they've, they've never, I mean, I don't know. It's like Reggie Bush having to give his Heisman back because his parents got a house and all this. Issue. So, well, he still won the Heisman. It didn't affect his play on the field. I mean, I know it should be the, it should be the people that the boosters and those people should be getting. I, I would say, fuck it. I'm not giving you my Heisman back. Do you, you, do? Do you come to my house? I'll slap you. Who is the athlete on the Heisman? Do you know that? Um, I don't. Okay. That's like one of those, like, yeah, I know. Right. I mean, that's so, so it's not Heisman. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Heisman's kind of a joke anyway, because sometimes they award it like the year uh, Gino Toretto won, Marshall Falk should have won. Beautiful, beautiful girls. But anyway. What? There's a movie called Beautiful Girls. I think it's Beautiful Girls, where like a guy, like, he walked up to a woman in a bar and she basically shot him down. And then like, you know, minutes, well, you know, a few minutes later in the movie, he sees her again. He's like, Oh, ever since you gave me the Heisman, she's like, what? He goes, you know, back off. (laughs) (laughs) I thought it was funny. It is. The Heisman is Ed Smith, a leading player in the 1934 New York university football team. Dun, 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 no, they played football in New York. I mean, they got the Giants. But... You, you were doing the exact same thing I was doing. Act, I was like, let's look this up. <laughs> actually, they don't. Uh, they don't play in New York. That's Jonah? They, play, they play in Jersey. 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 East Rutherford, New Jersey. Jersey. The least Rutherford. <laughs> dun, 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 it's kind of like dun, dun, a, like dun, baseball, dun. like New York baseball. It's like you, you neither neither team plays in New York City. It's like <laughs> like all right. Well, it's like, yeah. uh, well, Kansas is, ta- uh, the Chiefs are talking about getting a stadium built in Kansas. Oh, well. So that's going to make it even more it'd confusing. Be cheaper, and, cheaper and construction. Now pe- people mm. are pissed because they don't want them to leave Kansas. Missouri. Yeah. Missouri. Yeah. They don't want them to leave like, Missouri. Hey, what the fuck, man? Because both, mean, there's, both stadiums are right next, uh, the baseball stadium. Right. And the, they're right next to each other. Uh, well, didn't they used to share one? Look. Well, it was like Oakland, you know, where you had the football and the baseball. But anyway, I don't, uh, think, I don't think so. I mean, there is a Kansas City, Kansas. It's just a little sliver compared to the Kansas City, Missouri. So yeah, I bet there's a Franklin, Kansas. You know, there's like a Franklin everywhere, right? I, cause True. Good point, cause, Matt. Because you know, people in San Diego were always looking for someone rich yeah, to, buy, man. to buy the Chargers and bring them back. Well, Bill Gates bought a forty-three million dollar home on the beach in San Diego. Look you look at the home, you're like, going, okay, you'd have to have a, I mean, it's on the beach, but it's like, it's not really, you look at it, you go, okay, I, I'm not seeing $43 million there, but yeah. anyway, if you got trillions, I mean, I guess there's no big deal, but so you, we'll know what, see if, you know what billions, Bill Gates he's, yeah, he's told his wife after she was just like, look, I'm done with you. He said, biatch. <laughs> Uh, sorry, here's Chris, Franklin, Kansas. Chris, Chris, I mean, Matt, right. is, Matt is, have the drugs taken effect now? What? I'm just I, what is, I think, Matt, are you fucked up? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Here's Kansas, <laughs> Franklin, Kansas. Because, I mean, I appreciate it. Like, I do. Are, are they? Are the Chiefs moving to Franklin, Kansas? No, nah, I just, I was looking at Franklin's. So, Chris well, and I are Franklin I, brothers, you know? Who, so who, I who knew that there were so many Franklins in the in the country? I mean, it's, I'm hmm. looking at all of them right now. Yeah. Quite that, was I'm looking at all of them? I know I've asked this before. Is, is, it, is it, ben, are you named after Ben Franklin? Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. actually, mm-hmm. the state of Tennessee was originally going to be called the state of Franklin. Because what's his name? You, I can yeah. tell you the origin of this whole story, but I think I've done this before in the show. Before. Yeah, I don't care. Um, <laughs> what's, that, what's, cool. a, what's a guy that does the documentaries? Um, baseball and Vietnam and... Ken Burns. Ken Burns. Ken, Ken Burns. Burns. He's doing. He's going to do one on Ben Franklin. Really? There is a Franklin yeah. Washington. Even so, the history of my town of Franklin um, is that uh, back in the day when the town was being established, they solicited to get some funds from Ben Franklin to build a church steeple um, in the downtown area, and Ben Franklin responded saying, "I'll give you the money, but you can't build a fucking church." <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you the money if you build a library. And they did. And they built nice. the first library, uh, public library in the United States. And it was, nice. actually, it was actually at the end of my street that I used to live on. Nice. It was the first public library in the country. And Franklin, the first American sex symbol. There you go. He was one six Woo. man. <laughs> He's the only uh, person on our money who's not a president currently. Well, not according to Michael Scott. 
Oh, right. Because he thought he was president, <laughs> right. Oh, And Franklin, of- Massachusetts was the first town in the United States to be named for Benjamin Franklin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I you fucking... Well, I did, other it's not a competition. You, you, know, Ma- like you, you know, Matt's still going, hey, we're fir- we're, we gotta be first, man. We gotta be first. No, I don't care about being first. first it's just like it's a flight. unity thing, man. You know, you're just turning into like a competition. You know? so- I never felt <laughs> unity with another town of Franklin. Why, why not? It's like, you know... we're the first. <laughs> fucking copycats. Jeez, what a dick move. So... <laughs> Well, so, that's how they do it in New England, folks. <laughs> so my, my my parents came for a kind of a surprise visit this past week, and did I, they surprise you like in the middle of the night? Your mom showed up. They did. They showed home. up, and I yeah. <laughs> and you're like, Mom, don't. That's not okay out here. Uh, but I, I introduced them to Station Eleven, which they loved, and uh, they binged it very quickly and got through it. And uh, so, and the only thing I warned them about was the birthing scene. I was like, just so you know, there's a really weird moment where they show you complete birth, and I don't know why they did. And of course, they were just like, "Oh my god!" Oh my god. Yeah, but, I thought so, that was, I thought that was kind of great. You know, I don't need to see that ever. Okay, but uh, anyway, uh, and then of course, I can my, see someone get sliced in half and stuff like that, but don't yeah, show me. I don't, don't show me a birthing. I, don't scene. See I birth mean, scene. of all of the gruesome things that I've had to witness in a movie, watching childbirth is Wait, not. Hold hold on a second. Not even a hello, but just a jump in in Jay Lynn's. Like I'm not. I'm gonna say Ben Franklin's out next week, next Monday and Tuesday on PBS. Oh. Since when does she listen to this show live? Never. <laughs> since, I don't think. since when does she listen to this show? I That's think, a great, I think, yeah, follow, great I think follow-up people, question. Is people in? I didn't think people heard us in Canada. Well, I, um, I think that's like illegal, a six-year-old illegal joke. Oh, yeah, hold the works. presses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, and you then know w, you know, oh. WD forty was invented in San Diego. Go ahead. Apparently, I'm not supposed to use it on my uh, as a lubricant. On my so, car. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not, we're not as big as Frank Franklin, store opener. but yeah, San Diego. Uh, W40 wait, wait, you use, you use WD-40 for a lubricant, Matt? What, for what? On my car garage door. <laughs> so, oh, 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 okay. Oh. Okay, go she... ahead with your parents and, and the fact that they were embarrassed right. about watching childbirth with you. No, 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 no. But yeah, and then, of course, then my dad being my dad. <laughs> she was he, bored while watching The Office. They still have <laughs> they still have cable, but he's loving modern technology and that I can just switch back and forth between apps. And he loves Hulu because like he can watch all every old show in the world right then and so he started fucking cheers season one and now i'm watching cheers <laughs> <laughs> and so i'm done with season one now and i'm like and i and you know, i always forget about coach and like how he died oh, you know? and I'm coach, like, yeah. coach is so so good yeah but they did repl- they coach. did replace him with woody harrelson with woody, it, yeah it worked yeah. even though coach was so good because sometimes it doesn't work but they mm-hmm. I think I told when I when I did my rewatch a couple of years ago, I got to eat pretzels because every episode's like pretzels. I, so I had I think I ate pretzels every day for a year. You gained like now it's like I, I, it's like I can't eat pretzels. Get them away from me. Yeah, just killed you on that. <laughs> it's it's weird. Like there's certain paintings that I've worked on over the years where like I remember what movies or TV shows I was watching while I painted it. Mm-hmm. It's like a weird really? connection. Yeah. I'll be like, oh yeah, like, like I'd seen this painting. Um, it kind of passed through family, you know, and a, and so um, a friend of mine had, had posted it on Instagram, and I hadn't seen that painting in a long time. And I was like, oh, that's that painting, you know. Um, and I was like, I remember painting that, watching the Godfather trilogy. Those were good times. <laughs> this is like such a weird, like, like you, cyclical you thing. Actually, watched part there- three. There's going to be a, a, a thing on the making of The Godfather. TV. Yeah, there is. That's right. Yeah, there's going to be it's, a series. I think it's H- yeah. HBO, I think, maybe. Yeah, yep. it's a, yeah, it's a yeah. series. Yeah, yeah they're t- telling how it works. Okay, here's a question because a lot of Cheers fans here. Oh, yeah. Was, uh, it, better, was it better with Diane? They're, or, they're, uh, they're both good. I think they're both no, but which, good. Which, but which one's the best? I'm drawing a blank. I know. Well, well, that's the thing like, is, uh, who's better? Harry Pot, like Henry. No, which, which episodes are better? Well, the thing well, is, is, like, Diane Rebecca Rebecca's funny. Less. Rebecca is funny. You know, at least there's yeah. funny stuff. Like, Diane is just this annoying but charming. Is They're two different things. That's you know? acting. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't think she was acting. 
But like, I you know, yeah. But it's just, but you know, like I mean, like there's not much difference between the two. It's like, like, like you're saying, like Coach and Woody are kind of the same character, but different versions of it. And to me, yes. Diane and Rebecca, they're two different characters, but they're they have similarities because they're trying to still keep with that tension and things. I but. think they're like pears and apples. Yeah. I like the Rebecca ones better. Like, but the thing is, though, I think we can all agree there there was no lull or downside. No, 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 no. Like, I, no. I think that it was. That's like one of the only shows out there that was really, like, spot on. Like it's, throughout its entire and month. It's, and it's amazing oh, how Seinfeld like, was that like no, I disagree. I don't. I don't think Seinfeld was always great. No, yeah, Seinfeld's not always great. Yeah. I, I, I like think a, yeah, it always pisses me off. Like I think Seinfeld's better than Friends, and there's so many people out there that think yeah. Friends is like awesome. No, 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 I'm like, Friends I, is good, I, I, but like I, Seinfeld holds hands up. Hands down, no, Seinfeld's better than Friends, but I think I think there's there's more uh, I don't know nuance to uh, I don't know like like when I sit down to watch Seinfeld, I don't feel like I'm getting the I don't know. There's the episodes where Jerry's doing a stand-up shtick. I'm, I'm not knocking Seinfeld. I like Seinfeld. I mean, it's like if we're talking about like some of the great, great shows here, it's just, but there's different seasons and different iterations. You're like, if you start with season one, it's like certain with season one of Parks and Rec. You're like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, and is this going to get better? It's, it's it's different, but I, I like season one. I, I, I rooted don't... for, I watched season one when it aired. I was a big yeah. fan of Seinfeld and I was a big yeah. fan of uh, Tim Allen at the time. I loved stand up comedians and I watched both shows. I hate it when they pitted those two against each other, mm. but I stuck with Seinfeld and, and I'm glad that it survived. I mean, it was, it was a, it was really the I don't, show. I don't know. I don't know how it did because it, was, I, I, it, it is really the, the, the show that, that couldn't, but to cheers, just, just, you know, a lot of, a lot of uh, listeners, you know, um, well, you know, comfort, you know conversation you're talking about cheers um i just thought it was so amazing that they brought a character like fraser in with you know oh, in the whole diamond saga and then how he had mary he he stood he stood the test he became i his don't own think character. he's supposed to be a regular character though but no but it, he was no, so popular it, it's almost like ben line is coming in on um uh you know lost, lost you know right right because it was like well, who's this guy and and uh we can still use him you know so what okay? What show had the best cold opening? Cheers or The Office? Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, Office, uh, Office. Man, look, I, I think, look, look I think... Cheers is filmed before a live studio audience. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. <laughs> but it, it was almost like that. Yeah, both cold opens, but it's almost as if Cheers wasn't even trying. Just it was what they it was uh, yeah. Natural. Whereas I think what, the office is 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 intentionally called open, you know. I think what both what both what benefits both shows is that when I when I watch those shows, I'm in that environment. I'm in the office. I'm with my coworkers, and I'm in with this family. When I'm at Cheers, I'm at the bar, and I'm hanging out with these guys. You know what I mean? Like you're in that place with Seinfeld, and and again, it's not an act to Seinfeld, but it's just like. In Seinfeld, you're kind of in different places. You you are in yeah. Jerry's apartment, but you're kind of around New York, and you don't know what you're going to get every week. Whereas, if I'm watching a comfort show, and by the way, I'm I'm sorry not to knock Friends, but I don't really like hanging out in the apartment. It, the you the know, I'd charming hang out thing, the bar. The, but the thing yeah. is, the charming thing about Seinfeld, what Seinfeld got really right was was the fucking the genius yes. of of Larry David. I was going to talk about right? that. Yeah, a real problem is great. Uh, but the genius yeah. of Larry David to take Things that were never talked about on TV shows, like everyday yeah. things, that everyday were like, things, yeah, like real. And, show about nothing, and and the, every the fucking challenge. one of us, every one of us have has had like a, a a mental like like struggle of like with some of the shit that they did on these shows that we never talk about. Like it was just like he that he brought like real life bullshit to light and made a comedy out of it. And it was it was there's something that was just so like unique about that like no show has ever done that before and i think that's probably why it was so well, that's when it started hitting a stride because season one i think the episode that really pushed him over the top was the chinese restaurant one yeah yeah i, I sure. think that was the episode where people said i think john just mentioned it in the uh, chat yeah yeah that was no, the that one was... where because it was just about being in a chinese restaurant and you're like going well and and how many right. people have been in that situation where you just have to wait for something you know and yeah. that just hit home comedically of course kids today watching okay when george is mad about payphone you know he's like mm. people are like what's a payphone right but 
going going to uh, to Ray of Perlman. Um, yeah. My dad actually before we started watching Cheers, we watched all of season one of Taxi, which I hadn't seen in a while. Oh which yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers is, is excellent too. And mm-hmm. but it's one of those things where like you don't think about it until you start because we watched them like went from Taxi straight to Cheers. It's like you see why Whoa. Danny DeVito and her got married. It's like they're the same fucking person. Like yeah. they're oh, yeah. the same character, same just like they're gonna right. stick it to you and like make fun of everything about you. I was like, they're the same, just miserable person character. Plus, it has taxi has she, one of the funniest scenes of all time. The slow down. Yeah, actually, oh, yeah. That, that episode is not available on Hulu, which I do not yeah, know it, why. It really yeah, sucks like what yeah. what they they've made available on Hulu for Taxi. So yeah. I don't know if Peacock's any better. I haven't checked, but um, I just want to say good night, Mister Walters. <laughs> Um, Aria Perlman's character is a little bit different, though I think in Taxi than than how she is in Cheers, like the the character herself, because she does appear in in some of the Taxi episodes. Right. She's more, she's more, she's she's more seasoned and kind of in control of like who she is. I think on Cheers, whereas like I felt like I don't know, it's just it's di- it's just different. So. Well, you heard how her what was who was, who was the guy? Was her husband was a hockey player? Yeah, yeah. You know how he got about, how yeah. he lost his job. He <laughs> said something nasty about Rhea Perlman. Oh yeah, about having to kiss her or something. I don't know. Something. He, he but I mean, that also he was on a radio also, show and he was just joking. But he. But I think that goes to a testament off. of maybe like like how tightly, you know, I think shows that last the test of time, like The Office, there is a family unit of those actors where you got to spend like day in and day out with these people. And if you're not willing to put in that time with those people and have a good time, it's kind of like this podcast. If I didn't enjoy <laughs> coming on here every week, you know, and talking to you guys and find out what, what your life's like. I mean, you wouldn't have that camaraderie or that energy that you get from, from enjoying watching those shows. And um, there had, no, there had been that. Yeah. All what, right. So, what, I, doing what I do, I fucking drift off and start scrolling through some shit on Wikipedia. <laughs> like, I I fully admit that I do this, and and I'm I'm glad I did, because this is a fucking incredible statement about Cheers. Mm-hmm. So, its series finale was watched mm-hmm. by an estimated 93 million viewers, which this is fucking wild was almost 40% of the U S population at the time. Like wow. Yeah. That's, in, that's insane. Yeah. Like that's fucking crazy. Yeah. Well, it was the number one show for about three years. Um, like yeah. the, the last few years of it. Well, it must see like, TV. It was, I, I it tell was... you another, I tell you another, I tell you another mm-hmm. really interesting fact about cheers, which I did not know about, um, is that after coach died, um, something he always kept in his dressing room was a picture of a native American that, that he always had. It was like his, like good luck charm or whatever that he did like before he would go out and act. They hung it in the bar after he oh, yeah, passed Geronimo. away. Mm-hmm. Geronimo. Yeah, Geronimo. Yeah, Geronimo. Yeah. Uh, and the last thing you see in the season finale is Geronimo, is, is Geronimo and mm-hmm. uh, Ted Danson straightens the picture and then walks out. And like that's a nod to, that's a nod. to the coach. Well, that awesome. shows you, we're talking about Seinfeld and Cheers. Those shows could have kept going. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, it's not like Friends were okay. All right, Friends, you've, you've gone on a little too long. Yeah. But I will oh. give the actor on Friends yeah. credit. They all made the same amount of money. That's yeah. They all I mean, yeah. Again, how, how again, often they, does that happen? I mean, they 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 were really friends. So but I, but that goes that goes to like the synergy and and yeah. you know I, I I kicking the tires of Friends here and you know but you could tell that there was a camaraderie there and that energy comes through you know and I think that that lasts with great shows you know. So I was going to say I was reading something about The Office when James Spader comes on as Robert California. Mm-hmm. He, he wasn't comfortable with the cast because they ad lib so much. Damn, like they'll just God. and he just he got frustrated with it. Damn, did you read John the retired guy's comments? They were, that's just me. They were also I know that they were also a little uncomfortable with having the big the bigger names on there. They didn't really want to have the James Spader or. Um, you know, Will Ferrell, Will Ferrell, or even um, I mean, Timothy Olyphant. Uh, no, no, I was trying to think. I, of just, her I name. just watched those. I just watched those two. Um, when she when she comes in, Joe. Um, oh, uh, think of her name, Kathy Bates. Yeah, Kathy Bates. Like she was, she was kind of the 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 first one that really started to br- break that fourth wall because up to that point, 
the Jack Black appearing on the the movie that they that watched. So that was like the probably the biggest, you know, Hollywood name that they could like kind of break that fourth wall without saying like, oh, here's a big and, famous and, person. And one of the, the funniest scenes in office history that probably one of it is when the, it was Pam, Jim and Andy are sitting around. He goes, oh, yeah. I made pop. I made popcorn. It's <laughs> just the kernels. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so subtle. You know, of course, you know, Jim gives that look to the camera. I go, I just watched about him three weeks ago. It's, I love that. It's every time he just pours, I made popcorn. It's like there's a few popped and the rest is just kernels. Like, <laughs> that, is, that is so fucking funny. I mean, who thinks of that? You know, but that's good writing. You know, that, that it's funny. The lasts. first time, the first time around, I didn't like Gabe. Oh, Gabe, oh, now Gabe, in, in Gabe, now Gabe is growing. I think it's because he's a lot like you, Matt. <laughs> Seriously, you're, you're tall and skinny, right? Thanks. Right. That's not a compliment. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I could have called you Mike. You know, you know, we we say a lot of mean things to Matt, but I think that's the meanest. Okay, I got I got something I noticed on uh, the office. Wait, I'm trying to figure. I, I out have what not you... said one mean thing about Matt this week. Just Jay would be Diane and Matt would be Rebecca. See, I thought Warm Taffy was Diane and I was Rebecca, but that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> but on cheers have you noticed there's a big table in the conference room right mm -hmm. yeah yeah but sometimes you go in there the table's not there the chairs are all there yeah where does it where does the table go you know if you listen to the office ladies they talk about that do they yeah that they do they they talk because they're watching the show i never really it, noticed it until this rewatch i go where did the table go and and for 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 those that might be like, well, you know, they've seen the show because they were on the show. Well, but not always the case because you might be in scenes, but you're not necessarily in well, all of the watch, scenes. Some actors so, don't watch the show. Some actors don't watch it. But anyway, they're going through and rewatching them. And as they rewatch them, they track certain things, and they're like, "Where are they putting the table?" And so that was one of the big mm -hmm. questions that came up: is where wow. does the table go in the conference room? They explained it away with with a place that it could be housed, and that two people are the ones that like kind of move it in and out of that whenever they Where? have to. So, because they know, let's go into the conference room. Right. Sometimes, the, you know, in the same episode, the table is there. there. There's there's so much about the office that is about that space and the architecture because they they actually do you know move around within that space and it is built as you know it's as opposed to like cheers where there is a fourth wall that we never see right you know it's filmed in it's the the studio audience wall that we, we finally see. see the restaurant yeah those I are like always when, my I favorite like when, i like when john comes on the show yes i do like i do like his it's, character as well and, and, uh, and robin Berlin. robin's yeah. character so yeah. that's kind of he's kind of annoying i hated the robin stuff when it was happening live but i you know in rewatch i've I don't know. what was it was it was tom scared at first right Tom Scarrett, yes, at first, and they they brought in the younger, um, yeah, yeah, who was on yeah, the right. who was on the West Wing? Who, Tom Scarrett? No, not Tom Scarrett. Um, the other guy, the British guy. Oh, the British guy. I, mean, I can't yeah. remember. I Robin just know Cold his his name was Robin, Robin on the show. Yeah, Robin Coldcourt, right? Yeah, but he was on the uh, West Wing. He was a, a, a an ambassador, and he always uh, what. Uh, this, what's what's his name? Secretary of uh, no the the guy press not press secretary. What's the guy in charge? Um, not the president. The president. The guy that gets the guy that gets. What's his name to run for president? He's he's uh, not Toby. Um, John Spencer was the actor. I can't think of his name. Anyway, I'm just going to wait for my Amy. My the chief of staff. Um, chief of staff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Leo McGarry. He never gets his name right. He always calls him something else. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. Anyway. It's funny. You got to laugh. You got to laugh. It, okay. Can we just, I know this is our first time in the chat. I hate to call people up. It's not a okay. regular fold up table. It's not. There's no crease in the middle. No. Yeah. It's not a, it's not a fold up God, table. Geez. I don't know if you've ever. Don't put, the things in the, don't put things in the chat if you don't solid, know what you're talking solid about. wood table. You don't know how they get it Look. in and out of there. And sometimes it's, the table's it's, bigger. It's, it's, sometimes it's huge. a smaller table. Sometimes it's a bigger table. Jack, she's Canadian, okay? You can't talk to people like that. She's like, just I, now getting the, the I, office. I apologize. They're too, apologize. they're too polite. They get their feelings hurt. I apologize. I'm sorry. I lost it for a second. 
Yeah. Or at least, at least at least say it in her native language. You can't put stuff like that in the chat, eh? Hey, what are you doing, hoser? We'll go about doing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I just want to take this moment to say that we don't always shit on the people in the chat, but we do appreciate you joining us live. And um, if you haven't already, please go over to iTunes, rate, review, subscribe to us. We would really, really appreciate be the that. The first one in sixty years. Well, we we could use some more ratings. That would be really, really That'll helpful. Or subscribe to this channel. You could subscribe to this channel on YouTube. That would be helpful as you well. You know, that if you help. subscribe to it and hit the little bell, you wouldn't need yeah. Matt to send out a notice that the show's going to be on. It would just, uh, I haven't looked in a YouTube. while, but I would shit my britches if we had a review. So. <laughs> I oh, I do. I do believe. I do believe. We uh, had an email this week. An email. email. An email. Before we do that email, let's go ahead and throw in that other commercial break because we're all the way past. Uh, After 11 already? I know. So we get this email that says, um, what did Chris Rock find on his face in the morning? Some fresh prints. Fresh oh, print. there you go. <laughs> right in, right in my goddamn name. name for the last four hours, it feels like. Is it Randy? Yeah, Good job, Randy. Yeah. So, <laughs> no, no, no new reviews. Oh, Sherry just said she did it. <laughs> oh, awesome. I've already, oh, she's already done it. What's oh, she she's done? already done it. What's well, what's um, she if did? you subscribe to, to the YouTube channel, we would appreciate that. We're, we're pretty close to, to reaching a mark. We do appreciate everybody that watches us live or subscribes to the podcast there's some people that make this show possible i know chris is ready to end this show damn no. straight oh you want to keep going he oh, wants okay. to stay just a <laughs> little bit longer okay well we can, we can hang up <laughs> no I'm, I'm good to go okay. oh my eye, eye. Oh, no okay Save i guess you guys are here you. with me i did uh i didn't have names this week um, but just some artwork themed kind of images. So if you could just describe what the artwork is to the to the patrons, okay? That's Let's that's gonna it. be the gag. Crap. <laughs> right, so here's Matt's first attempt. The, the, now these these are themed. There is a theme here. So Am I the only one that heard that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it appears to be a long board. On top of the crest of a wave with the word tack written on top of it. Don't you just say surfboard? Tack wave? Tack. tack yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's tack surfing, you know. Tack it's surfing. Tack uh, surfing. Uh, I, I don't know. Surfing. It's, it's a new theme. Okay, let's see if we get this one. This one was a harder one. I, I did this one. Uh, later, I do but... see what looks like a, a shitty UFO or star, half a star, star, star Trek with Eckhart. Written. Is it a? Is it's it either a Star kite? Trek symbol, or it could be a boomerang, or could it be a kite? Well, we'll go with kite. I, I was trying to get it to be a hang glider. So uh, sorry about what? that. What? Oh, okay, a hang glider. Yeah. I, I Are know. You a fucking was... artist and shit. Yeah. <laughs> do you teach I art? I draw these while we do the show. Wait, you know? Yeah. Take that. Well, no, no, no. I went. Where, to, where's wait, where's, wait, the, where's the draw? Like... Where's the drawing of your your model? <laughs> We're not talking about the model. What were you? Hey, hmm. I want you to take that to your class. Yeah. And ask your class, what is this? Yeah, no, no, no one's no, gonna no, fucking no. know. And I, I, I want, I want to, I want, I want, do it. And no, you can film I, it live. I don't have to do what you say. No, no. This is well, why you. not? I think it'd be funny. Because the line is drawn when I end the podcast. You see, you know, I, I'm not doing what you know. Oh, I'm gonna take this. I was talking on my podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't say you're talking on your podcast. Say. What is this? Jessica or Jalen 80, it's comments like that will get you banned from being live on this yeah, show. Yeah, delete that shit. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> she, fucking she that's, that, that, that's misinformation. No, and no, no. Oh, not not have it. Yeah. You think it's he keeps true. the dead dolphins out and open for people to see? Exactly. Okay, no, special she, order. She, she uh, in the chat, says, I do want to stand up for Matt before I head to bed. Oh, good night. Uh, as someone who has been to his store, thank you very much for stopping by. There are did no. Did you buy anything? Did you buy anything, or just waste his time? That's yeah. I'm curious. I were want to know. The, did you were buy you anything? The lady who didn't store? wear the mask. You were the lady who didn't wear yeah, the mask yeah, in the yeah, store. Yeah, and then you know, Matt there's, had to there's, go over and tell you to put your mask on. Okay. You know, there's okay. A, there's a basement in the store. 
Mm-hmm. And that's where the dolphins are kept and slaughtered. Exactly. There's a big if, water tank down there. Why yeah. do you think you need if so much space? If she my store, I would just make sure that I would just flip the CD, the, the music player to play uh, Nothing But Drops of Jupiter on repeat. Because <laughs> <laughs> she hates that song with a fucking burning passion. I like, I like uh, John the Retired Guy. This is what happens when your producer gets stoned. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Matt is... Ooh, I'm just going to draw. Hey, I'm just, not. I, I like happy <laughs> trees. It's completely funny. Here. <laughs> I am not. You guys don't know me at all. Matt is. You don't know me. You don't know me? Real fucking high on drugs. All right. <laughs> Next up. Hey, yeah. we get that reference. No. Ah. Ed the tricycle. Ed a sickle? It's, it's Ed on a, Ed, on a bicycle. It's a cycle? It's yeah, a you have to describe oh, no, wait. The, the audience. It's a part. hang glider. So it's it, a hang. It's the word. <laughs> it's the word. <laughs> It's that was the last one. Riding a bike. The, the, the dimensions, the dimensions of those handles just don't look right to me. I, I know they aren't. So <laughs> <Is it> abstract. <laughs> These aren't okay. This this one may be be a, be a stretch here, but this feel better a, than I could do. Maggie Bart. Tree. Maggie, Maggie tree. climbing a tree. Yeah, there you go. That's right. right. Boom. Got it. Was there right. a dog in that park? Yeah. Is there a dog in the park? Dog in the park? A dog, dog in the, the bark. bark. In the bark. In the I bark. Like, oh, no, no. Dog. Did you see a dog in the bark? Yeah. You sell yeah. pencils at your place? Kind of. Art little, pencils? Little ears. Yeah, art oh, pencils. Okay. okay. Paint. Right. You know. Oh, um, oh. You sell art lessons there, too? I do not do art lessons. All right, last up. Oh, here. look at this one. Joanne yes. on a lounge on chair on the beach. Except or is Joanne's that a lounge island? chair. It is not actually on the beach. Matt got too lazy; he couldn't yeah. complete the beach. <laughs> out in the so middle the of the void. Is the void. What I'm saying. The void. I probably have the most going on for Joanne. Is, is there? So. Is there too yeah. much? Is it but you left her off the, off the island. It's she's not on like, the island. Hu- she's just like yeah. no, no. Where's she at? There. There, it's white sands. Is it no? Is it like a no? Green you green? already have tan sand around the <laughs> yeah, tree. Yeah, tan and white in the same beach. Is Joanne on a green screen? She's not actually anywhere. No, no. It's okay. They are all. Spring break themed, you know, like you know. Oh, so you gave, gave up the answer. We haven't even tried to pretend to give spring the break. Tr- how was, how was, uh, it was it was like a vacation. Tree, vacation I had spring themed. break written right here. Oh, okay. Thanks. This was the second one that I made. This was a, you should a different doodle one like Jack does, like a serial killer. Over so there. this was the, the second uh, artwork that I was working on, which is just artwork of the names, by the way. Yeah, uh, that's, that's actually your best one. That's it looks one. like a shitty fucking Tetris map. Like someone who really sucks at the game. I like it. I like Ooh, it. I Actually, didn't finish. It looks like something. It looks I didn't like get to finish jo- Joanne. No, I'm not. Oh, I'm not taking away from the art. Is that like it art from it the It looks like, like art from the sixties. Tetris pieces. Okay. Well, I didn't get right. to Joanne's. So I'll I'll try to try to finish that. Um, Don't say that crap where that Andy Warhol is going for like twenty million or something. Oh, crazy. Was there an Andy Warhol that went for twenty million? Hmm? Yes, yeah, Madonna. It's, it's the you, uh, you it's the Marilyn Monroe. You should turn your Patreon artwork into NFTs. I should. How do we do that? You know, like like uh, all of our, our, our patron this patron artwork. I would say I'd we, Google it for you, but I think you we weekly it. I make this, you know, stuff. I still have some some classic ones from and from you could you could issue the NFT to the actual recipient. I would love okay. to do that. That I could mean, be I that could be a patron week. level like reward. They get NFTs from Amazon. I would love to What's NFTs. Oh god, don't even start. None of your fucking thinking. No, it's non fungible. That, 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 that was not it's non fungible tokens. Non fungible, thank you. Fungible. You're welcome. Fundable is what I think and of. That is a topic fungible. for another day. I don't want to destroy I just did what, what you guys were talking about. Absolutely. Hey, why don't why don't we just take all of the listeners and just let's say go fung yourself? <laughs> wow. No, sorry, that didn't land. Anyway, if you want to send us an email and say that I'm off my fucking rocker, send it to rcadcast at gmail.com. Gmail! Really appreciate it. I'll read it on the on air, you know, right after Randy's email. We'll, um, we'll, we'll so. shit on it, but we'll, we'll, we'll read we it. Will, <laughs> but we will. We will definitely. See, that, that that's a new tactic. If you email us, we're going to shit on it. So mm-hmm. buckle up. Send an email. Fuckaroo. Well, thanks for joining us live. Um, everyone, uh, we'll see you next week. This was a great show. It was one in a fungible. Fungible? I don't know. I was just trying to end the show. You say Get something. your fucking NFT out of your mouth.